This is so exciting. Good morning, everybody. This was another record-breaking year for the largest health show in North America, Expo West. Here to share some of her biggest trends and the latest finds for 2018 is our savvy nutritionist, the award-winning nutritionist at that, Andrew Donsky. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Let's get right into it. This is exciting. This will be coming to shelves in the future, near future. They are. So I found four trends that I wanted to share with you today. So the first one is specialty diets. So specifically, the FODMAP diet, the low FODMAP diet, and the sugar-free diet. What is a FOD diet? Right, so the FODMAT diet takes into account the link between food and digestive disorders. So specifically, IBS or irritable bowel. Okay, so bloating. You, bloating, gas. If you, ex, you know, experience recurring bloating, gas, constipation, after you eat certain foods, you might benefit from eating a low FODMAP diet. So this carries just that. So basically, so I just want to explain what FODMAP means. Yeah. So it's, it's fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyol. So they're a group of sugars that are hard to digest for some people. Okay. So this is a new line of products. It's called FODI. That is an entire line. It's about 24 products that have the low FODMAP. So there's no high FODMAP, high FODMAP ingredients in it. So it won't, it won't upset your stomach because typically you can't have this stuff. Well, exactly. So high FODMAP foods would be like garlic or onion or milk or wheat. Yeah. So the entire line of of FODI doesn't have any of those ingredients that might upset your stomach if you have irritable bowel. So salad dressing, salsa, sauces, the whole thing. Exactly. Okay. Now, what is so special about this health chocolate? So this is the sugar-free specialty diet. Mm -hmm. So now sugar is always on trend because we want to reduce our sugar intake. It's linked to inflammation in the body, which is linked to certain diseases. Yeah. Right? So the thing is, but what's so great about the sugar-free category now is that companies are looking to use different types of alternative sweeteners. Healthier ones. Healthier ones. Stevia, yeah. xylitol, erythritol. So these are two companies that make amazing products that taste just as good as their full sugar counterpart. So this is Lily's. They have a sugar-free chocolate. They've got dark chocolate. They've got uh, milk chocolate. You can't have it because it has hazelnuts, hazelnuts in it. Okay. I've had that brand in the, in, before. And it tastes similar, amazing. Yes. And what I love about it is that each bar has 24 grams of fiber. So even if you have a quarter of the bar, you're getting quite a bit of fiber. Guilt-free and antioxidants. Right. Now what is special about these gummies? So these gummies are sweetened with stevia. And my daughter, who's seven years old, yeah. loves them. She says that these are better than ice cream. Come on now. We're quite obsessed with them, with smart sweets in our household. And mm. each bag has 24 grams of fiber. So, so it's again, stevia. Stevia that they're using. Really Isn't good. that amazing? Yeah, really they're good. absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. We love them. They're delicious. They're delicious. Yeah. Turmeric. You're going to see it in everything, infused with... All right, so this is another big trend, turmeric everything. Exactly. So companies are starting to... Use now, turmeric isn't a new... A new, or a new spice, right? It's been used for centuries. It has medicinal properties. Curcumin helps to reduce inflammation in the body, which is its active ingredient. It's also being studied for brain health. What's new, though, is how companies are using turmeric. So they're putting it in soaps, personal care products, you know, smoothie recipes. But also what's great about it is that Nature's Path just put it in their their golden turmeric cereal. So if you let that sit a minute, you'll see that the milk will turn yellow. <laughs> so have you seen on social media all the trendy golden milk recipes? Yeah. So this is like golden milk in a bowl. The hot drinks and stuff. Exactly. They also do say, is it true, it's more readily absorbed when you have it with cracked black pepper? With pepper, yes, they do say so that. So you don't want that for your cereal, but maybe for other things. If you're using turmeric, make sure you add that along. Exactly, yeah. golden milk, exactly. That's one in the recipe of golden milk. You're adding yeah. pepper, you're adding cinnamon, you're adding the turmeric to help yeah. you See, I learned these things exactly. by working I on like the show. It. Okay. Up <laughs> Next, we are going to preserve food. We just talked about Earth Day. We need to conserve right. more, preserve our animals, our planet, our oceans, our food. That's right. So Earth Day is around the corner. So less food waste is a very big trend. Now, consumers and companies want to reduce our amount of waste. So this is blue apple. Now, check out how cute this is. So, so this cute. Is, so this is, is a little do? apple that you put into the refrigerator, into the produce bin. Okay. And what it does is that it absorbs ethylene gas. Ethylene gas makes produce ripen quicker. So this will absorb it so it extends the shelf life of your produce. A healthy, natural way to do that. Right. And this bag is like genius. Why did they come up with this sooner? This is the Veggie Zips, again by Blue Apple, and it helps to control the humidity in the actual bag for the produce, so again, to extend its shelf life. There's it has little, little vents. Teeny tiny holes little in there, vents. guys, so that it doesn't get, <laughs> it preserves it, but it doesn't get all that water moisture, which makes it rock quicker. I love that. Okay, uh, health care. Right, so this is, now the last trend that I want to talk about is called regenerative ag agriculture. So there's a new certification, it's an organic certification that's coming out, it hasn't even hit the stores yet. Wow. And what it's called is, it's called ROC. So this is the actual logo, and it's regenerative organic certified. Okay. So what it means is, it's the highest quality ingredients available. 
It takes soil health into account, animal welfare, and fair labor practices. So completely ethical. Completely ethical. And Dr. Bronner's, which is well known for its soap, is leading the charge on it. So that's, that's the logo you can look at, and it'll be in the stores in the next few months. It's all going in the right direction. And remember, this Saturday, 8.30, Earth Hour. Make sure right. you all participate. Andrea, thank you so much. At Andrea Donsky for more, breakfasttelevision.ca. From turmeric to Tammy. Over to you, Tam. I love